You're still watching The Breakfast. And former pre Nigerian President Olusha Gwambasanjo has said Nigeria is slowly becoming a failed, divided state and the poverty capital of the world. Obasanjo, who said he has never seen the country in such a bad state, blamed the current state of the country on poor management of the nation's diversity. He made the statement in Abuja at a consultative dialogue attended by various social cultural groups, including Afeni Ferre, Middle Belt Forum, Northern Elders Forum, Ohanez Ndibu, and Pan Niger Delta Forum. While he warned against the call for war and secession, the former president said for Nigeria to successfully tackle its challenges, the problem of disunity must be first addressed. And following the comment credited to former President Lucia Gorbasanjo that the government under President Buhari has become a failed state, the presidency has reacted, describing the comment as divisive. According to the statement issued by the senior special assistant to the president in media and publicity, Garba Shehu, President Muhammadu Buhari's election in 2015 reserved Nigeria from becoming a failed state. The statement described as cruel irony that those who frittered away a great opportunity to put Nigeria on a sound socio-economic footing are now blaming the reformist Buhari government. Also responding to critics, the Minister of Information, Nai Mohammed, says no government in the history of the country had done so much with so little as the Buhari administration is doing. He argues that Buhari's administration has saved the nation from being completely wiped off by insurgents when he took over in 2015. Also, the APC said neither the PDP nor Obasanjo or even Vice former President Atiku Abakar could point a way forward for Nigerians because they failed to do so when they had the chance. The APC asked Obasanjo to tell Nigerians why they had yet to get steady power supply despite claims by his administration that it spent $16 billion on the power sector. According to the APC Deputy National Publicity Secretary, Yekini Nabena, the critics have no moral ground to undermine the effort of the current administration. Meanwhile, the PDP National Chairman Uche Sakandas has hailed Olusegun Obasanjo and some Nigerian elders for standing up to save the country at its worst time in history. Sakandas, in a statement signed by his media advisor, Ike Aboni, quoted the PDP national chairman as saying, the situation in the country calls for patriotic men and women to stand up to be counted. He also berates the presidency and others playing to the gallery instead of embracing words of wisdom from patriotic elders. Mm -hmm.